Hey peeps, it's Knox, and today we're here with another unboxing. This one's from Diamond Art Club. Before we get into that, I want to cover a couple things. First things first, I do have neuropathy in my hands, so I might make weird stretchy motions. That's me just trying to get the pain swelling, just some feeling sometimes back in my hands. So uh, that's all that is. I also have multiple people who live in my house, so if you hear people shuffling around in the background or knocking on my door because they forgot I was filming, well, you'll get a chance to say hi to somebody. And lastly, and most importantly, my channel supports LBG LBGTQIA+, Black Lives Matter, Neurodiversity, po Body Positivity, Freedom of Religion, including the freedom to have no religion, diversity and inclusiveness in general. If that is something that's going to be a problem for you, I'm going to have to ask you to not like, not subscribe, just go find a different channel. Also, don't comment. For those of you sticking around, welcome to Punks and Crafts. So, today's unboxing is... See if we can do it without the glare. Fuji Flora by Dominic Davison. It is a 105 by 70 centimeter and it is a square. So this one's gonna be nice and big. Hopefully I can get this so you guys can see the whole canvas when I lay it out. If not, we'll just wiggle around till you get a chance to see everything. <laughs> so how's everybody doing today? I hope, uh, I hope weather and other current climates aren't getting people down too badly. Um, but, uh, you know, if you feel like talking about it, put it in the comments, message me, email me, whatever you feel like doing. All right, let's get into this thing. So basic toolkit for a square, comes with a clear boat, blue pen, sharp tweezers, baggies, Looks like a thin four placer in there, a couple pads of the heart wax. And then, oh my god, this thing is heavy. <laughs> I got a old shoe house, which is the same size by the same artist. The same thing, like I was opening that box and was just amazed about how heavy that was. So here's your small sticker, Fuji Flora, all your information on there. You can uh, put this in your logbook on the side of the box. You can identify it when you store it. Just keep it in a pile like I do. <laughs> My logbook is digital, so I can't really do it, but I don't like throwing away the stickers because they're pretty. All right, and then we have our inventory sheet, which if you didn't know, if you haven't had a Diamond Art Club before, is also a sticker. So you can cut these out and use them as labels on your containers and also use this as a sticker in a log book which look how pretty that is pandas guys this is going to be so much confetti i can already tell and i think i'm, I'm okay with it this time <laughs> for that kind of detail i am okay with it all right now we play is nox smarter than a plastic bag i can tell you the answer is probably no but we're going to play the game anyway the answer is sort of. <laughs> so already doing better than I expected. All right, let's get the drills first. Thunk. <laughs> and there's the canvas. So you also got this uh, instruction booklet. Comes with all of the kits. Comes with how to diamond paint. If you don't know how to diamond paint yet, if this is your very first kit. Also, there's a code inside for a discount on your next purchase. All right, let's get that out of the way. Okay, I don't think this is all gonna fit in one frame, but we're, we're gonna see. <laughs> okay, it just keeps unrolling. <laughs> Almost there. A uh, little curled at the corner there, but can't quite get it all in one frame, but you guys get the majority of it. That's pretty cool. Look at those pandas. They are so adorable and they're actually going to not be not not going to be too pixelated. So that's pretty cool. Oh my God, that's so pretty. The confetti is not as bad as I thought. It's actually some fair chunks of color blocking up here. Blue over here in the clouds. 
some straight lines of color blocking in this. Even this is what I lovingly refer to as confetti blocking, where it's still technically a lot of different colors, but you can still use your multi-placer quite a bit. So that's good. All right, well, let's uh, let's take a t look at the drills and then we'll take a closer look at this canvas. So if you do not like the crinkling sound of me opening this, please mute now and I will let you know when it's safe on the screen. All right, here we go. For those of you who do like this crinkling, I hope you're enjoying this. Ah, the glue's coming off. Why does the glue always peel off for me when I'm doing videos? <laughs> All right, so this one's supposed to have three ABs, which is pretty cool. All right, I am done crinkling. All right, so we'll start with a short one here. So we've got 758, 433, 898, 895, three bags of that. That's the short one. All right, we're all done, let's go. <laughs> Not even close. Okay. 550 for all you purple lovers out there. 415, 436, 3609, that's a pretty pink. 3325, and here's our first AB, 133. So kind of a orange with a kind of a slight hint to red, but mostly orange. If you guys don't know what an AB is, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. That extra coating you see on there, Makes it look a little bit different than these ones. That actually makes them sparkle just a hair more. And uh, will also reflect onto the drills nearby and make them sparkle a little bit more. So generally makes the whole thing more sparkly. All right, we got 38.55, 322, 38.01, 4.98, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 8.18, 414, 907, another 907, 743, 666, plenty of 666, 318, 334. Now I didn't forewarn you guys before we started this, but there are 66 colors to this canvas. So. I hope you are settled in with a snack because we're going to be here a second. <laughs> All right. 37, 78, 135, our second AB. So this one's kind of a greenish yellowy color. Not a very big bag of this one, but that's okay. We've still got one other one to go. The other one wasn't a small bag, so 718. 992, 3814, 317, 841, 165, 993, 820. That one's my favorite blue. I'm probably gonna get some ABs of this one. Throw them in there. 3854, 644, 892, 333, 3823, 799, 777, 951, 3841, and 3837. Yeah. We're getting there, guys. Two more strands. <laughs> 938, two bags, 782, 818, 783, 3864, 434. This strip is heavy, guys. <laughs> 
904, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 bags of 904, 905, 1, 2, 3 bags of 905, 3861, 3607, 310, only one bag of 310, 3371, one, two bags of those. Last strip. Almost there. <laughs> 334, 754, another 754, 600, another 600, 3755, one, two of those. 321, one, two of those. 779, 602, 728, and our last AB, 141. I'm so surprised. Are you guys surprised? I never expected white. <laughs> so this is our biggest bag. White does make an excellent accent. You know, I sound snarky, but I also do really like it. So, 3860. 890, another 890, third 890, 3608, 906, two bags of those. All right, so that's the colors we got. I want to check one thing real quick because I have had some poor luck lately with some of the colors from Diamond Art Club squares, and I want to see if hopefully that won't be the case this time. So 3371 is one of the ones I've been having problems with, having an excessive amount of trash. And then 310s are also the ones I've been having a lot of trouble with. Now you're always gonna have trash, especially in these dark colors. Um, I don't care what brand, what company you go through, but um, for Diamond Art Club, it's been, um, well, for any company. At some point I will put up my review of uh, Rococo Dream, and I will show you the sheer quantity of trash that that one is, um, developing. They've actually already sent me out some new 310s for it. Hopefully those will be better. Um, and I'm, uh, I'm making do. <laughs> Hopefully I don't run out of things, but I don't think I've ever had that much trash in any company. So these do look better so far. There are a few knobbly bits, a few little floaty debris pieces, but generally speaking, this is more from first view, this is more what I expect from Diamond Art Club. Let's see this three tens. So some of the problems I was having with the three tens and the other kits was uh, variations in size more than uh, just knobbly bits. I actually can deal with knobbly bits a lot better. Variations in size actually mess me up pretty hard. These do look better. So maybe I just had a couple bad kits. All right. So I would normally lift this canvas up so you guys could have a better view of the drill field, but this is Diamond Art Club, guys. It's going to be clear. <laughs> and this, let's face it, is a huge canvas. <laughs> Lifting it up to my camera is going to be a little bit difficult. So what I'm going to do is figure out where all these ABs go and let you guys know where that is. So we're looking for one, twos, and threes. Um, your ones are going to be the, um, the orangey color I showed you. The twos are the yellowy green and the threes are white. So we've got threes obviously in the pandas. Um, all of these little flower accentuations have threes in them. So that's going to be scattered all over the place. Um, let's see. We've got some two. Can you see over here? Yeah, a little bit. So we've got some two and these plants down here. Let's see if there's any more. All right. Not having much luck finding twos. <laughs> So if you want a little bit more green ABs, you're definitely going to have to purchase them. I will put um, my recommendation of DP with sparklers down in the description box if you want to check them out. 
Okay, so there's a little bit of threes in the mountain here. Not really in the sky, but this is more of a muted eggshell color down here anyway, as far as I can tell. There are ones chilling out in here. So it looks, you know, obviously based off the size of the bags, like there's mostly white. Oh, there's some more twos over here and some plants. Oh, I already pointed that one out. Never mind. I'm on top of it, guys, I promise. Oh, there's some twos up here in the trees in the corner. Just a little bit. Let's see about... Uh, try not to knock everything off the table, but also get to this rolled up portion over here. Um, obviously more threes because there's more flowers. I would also recommend some pinks. Like if you want to get some pink ABs or some pink rhinestones, I think that would really jazz this kit up. But you'd have to make sure to get the rhinestones that are for squares. Which will still be most likely round. Um, but they'll be the smaller size because squares are 2.5 millimeters and rounds are 2.8 millimeters. So they're not the same size. You can't interchange them. So yeah, that looks like the, where the majority of your ABs are going to be. Um, so pretty much any of the white in this bottom half is going to have ABs mixed in it somewhere, which is pretty cool. But I would definitely recommend like maybe a light pink to accent the pink trees here and then over there in that corner there. Um, you can get green ABs. I actually think in some time, in some cases, green being a hair muted is okay. I mean, it's not like the drills aren't bright. And you've got so much going on in here. Like this is a busy canvas. So accenting the, the small busyness, the small flowers, the colors of the leaves, um, the, like the pink leaves and things like that probably will make the green shine more than just getting a green AB but that was a lot of work if you can't hear how breathy I am. This thing is huge, guys. Um, this is definitely a project. If you got this or are considering getting it, it is a project. Be prepared to put in the work for a project, which I love. I love all my diamond arts to be projects. I'm, I'm not a small canvas person. So I'm excited. And if you've gotten this, I hope you're excited. If you haven't already gotten it already, it took a little while to get to me. So <laughs> you may already have yours, but if you don't, you're still waiting on it or you're still contemplating getting it, here's your sneak peek. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this away and uh, let you guys have a good rest of your day, however much of that day is left, whether you're in the morning, afternoon, evening, or on your way to bed. I hope whatever it is, it is good. So thank you for joining me for this unboxing. If you want to see more videos like this one, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you can be alerted when I put videos out. I am intensely random as to when I post videos because I have pain conditions, children, and attention issues. So agent of chaos, who knows when the next video will be. Could be tomorrow, could be in an hour could be next week. Hit the bell so that you will know. And, you know, hit, give me a like if you like this video. Comment down below any thoughts you may have. I do love reading all of your guys' comments, and I will do my best to get back to you in a timely manner with it, too. So, thank you all for joining me. This has been fun, and I'm going to go ooh, ogle this a little bit more before putting it away. I love you all, and good night.